Welcome back, Odurus. Jose Ignacio here. Now, in order to have a great event, you need great speakers. Let's face it, they're the stars of the show. By sharing their expertise and valuable insight, they can greatly influence whether or not an event is considered a success. Now, at Stealthy Wood, we like to make sure these speakers feel supported and fully informed in the days leading up to the event. We also make sure they receive all the information they need in a timely manner. Now for that, we use emails and SMS messages to communicate efficiently with our speakers. These forms of communications are extremely convenient and easy to use. These messages can be written, they can be customized, and they can be sent in just a few clicks with the Odoo Events app. And we can even customize the recipient filters so that the message automatically gets sent to all of the speakers that match the criteria. So, enough chit chat. Let's jump into our database and see just how easy it is to communicate with speakers using Odoo. All right, before we get started, it should be noted that to communicate with speakers through Odoo properly, you'll need to install the SMS marketing and the email marketing applications. So if you haven't already done so, please click the apps icon on the main Odoo dashboard, search for those apps and install them. And if you don't know how to do so, please watch the create your first database video that I have done. I go over it. And it's a really nice video. Now, back to this, back to our main subject. Now, we've already taken care of installing our app. So we're going to jump right into this. And we're going to actually start by clicking Contact the Track Speakers button up here. Now, here we can actually fully customize the message we want to send out to our speakers. I'm going to set my mailing type to an email. I don't want to bother anyone right now with the phone thing. Now, our subject, top tips. To sound cool. Sounds like something that would be very useful. Now, I also want to make sure that my recipients is set to event track. Now, here, if you'll notice, we can actually further narrow down our target audience by creating an equation for Odoo to utilize when choosing who will receive this message. For this particular communication, we'll want it to be sent to the speakers that are, you know, connected to an event that contains the word design. Because... We're trying to make sure that they can design something. So we're going to say contains design. Really was that simple. And once that we're done with that specific configuration, Oda will send this message to speakers related to any event that contains the word design. Like, well, like this event. And our interior design conference. Now up next, we're actually going to leave the second field, you know, set as it is. But in our case... You would want to change this if you wanted it to do the opposite of this. Now, this means that the message will not be sent to speakers whose talks have been canceled since they'll no longer need any information about the event. You could change that, but I wouldn't. Now, with all these configurations in place, you can see how many people it will be sent to by checking out how many records fit this you know, specific criteria. You can actually see that based on this little records link that we see down here. We change some stuff. We can actually see other things happen. Like, see, is zero. Is not. Now we see 33. So see, I told you, you don't want to do that. Now I can actually proceed to choose a message layout and adjust it to fit my company's needs. And in our case, I actually want to start from scratch. You know, because I like to make a few changes. And in our case, what do we want to add? We want to add a left logo. We don't have a logo yet. Um, what else do we want in here? We want a body with a heading, the title, the big boxes too. That looks pretty clean with absolutely nothing in here. Maybe a little title. We'll say. All right, perfect. Now, once that you're done with all of this, you want to actually click on the settings tab. Now, within the settings tab, I can create some custom text that can be used as preview text, which is a catchy preview sentence that encourages the recipients to open the email. I can also change a few other things, such as the responsible user, the email address this message will be sent from, and I can even choose a preferred reply to address, recipient followers, or a specified email address. And I find that to be highly useful. And also, if you happen to have any specific documents or PDFs related to your message, you can actually freeload or freely upload them right here. In our case, we actually do. What do we have, Odoers, for our friends here? We have a top tips PDF file. Okay. 
I am very content with how this looks, but I also need this. Hot tips for local speakers. Eh. All right, now that this is all done, what do we do? Well, we just send it and we hit OK. It likes to confirm that we sent this. Now, once that we do this, you'll notice a banner appears informing me that this message has been successfully scheduled. There's also a new series of smart buttons letting me know how many people have received, opened, clicked, or, you know, replied to it. I can even see if any of them have bounced back. And I'm telling you, this is all about convenience. Now, let's see how to contact speakers through SMS because now I do want to bother them with their phones. So we're actually going to go back via the delicious breadcrumbs. We're going to go back. You guessed it. Where are we going, Odoers? Contact track speakers. And this time, we're going to select SMS. And since it's going to a phone, we got to actually have this be very useful. So be on time. A lot of my exclamation points. I like to hit the uh, limits on text. All right. Our recipients for this one will also be event track. And again, by default, Odoo provides me with a field that is related to all speakers whose talk has not been canceled, which is precisely what we want. And isn't that awesome? Now, in our case, let's write a quick message. And in our message, what do we write? Don't show up late. I'll close the doors. Actually, we want to rhyme for this one. I'll close the gates. We'll sign it. Jose Ignacio. There we go. Very cryptic. Very scary. Now, as you'll notice, we can pretty much write anything within a character limit down there. And it also tells us what format this allows us to fit characters in. And if we go over here to our settings tab, in addition to being able to modify things such as the responsible party, I can also even enable include an opt out link feature here in the settings tab. And when activated, recipients will be given the option to not receive any more SMS notifications from us. So let's do that now because it's good business practice. Now, just like before, when we're happy with how everything looks, we can actually quickly send this SMS to our speakers just by hitting send and OK. And it's that easy. Look at that. Everything is scheduled and it'll be sent to our speaker soon, along with the number of messages that were canceled, if any. And it should be noted that Odoo periodically and automatically runs the delivery of SMS and emails no matter what. So you don't need to switch applications to send SMS notifications or emails to any speakers. Everything can be done from the events page, which honestly saves a lot of time. So, as you can see, Odoo provides you with everything you will ever need to easily stay in touch with your event speakers in just a few clicks. That's all for this lesson, but stay tuned to learn how you can generate leads directly from your events using Odoo. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, Odooers.